and welcome to a new part and in this part we will implement left and right movement so um, uh, last video we added uh, a forward and backwards movement by simply adding or subtracting the i vector or i yes or i vector now um, our i our i vector is pointing forward of the player so it's, it's logical that for a forward and backwards movement we use that factor. Now, for side V movement, it would be nice if we had a vector that um, that pointed to the left or the right. Well, we can actually calculate that vector if we if we take the the cross product of the up vector. And of the i vector, and I'll show you how to do that. So, the cross product. Um, essentially, there are two ways to multiply two vectors. One is the dot product, and one is the cross product. Now, I won't explain them in detail, but the major differences is that the cross product multiplication returns a, a vector, while um, the uh, the dot product returns a single number. So, uh, in your vector 3h type vector 3 cross product vector 3 and simply use vector a and simply copy this and follow. Then go to your vector 3.cpp oh, I mistyped it. God damn it cross product yes now in vector 3.cpp let's implement it and I'll implement it here now um, can begin by typing vector 3 new new vector so essentially what we do is to calculate the first component, we don't simply uh, multiply the uh, the x of the a vector with the x of the b vector. Now we have to do the following: we have to do new vector dot x equals vector a dot y multiplied by vector b dot z minus vector b let's say vector a dot c multiplied by vector b dot y now copy and paste this line a couple of times and well three times exactly and now for the second one change this x to y and then this y will be a z and this will be an x and again this will be an x and this will be a z and for the last one so for our z component of the new vector this will be an x this will be a y this will also be a y and the last one will be an x so, uh, so notice the pattern here, we always multiply the first vector with the second one and then do minus again, but, uh, but then we multiply, um, well, the different values. So first we multiply the y of the a with the, y, with the z of the b and we then uh, subtract from that the value of the multiplication of uh, the z of the a with the y of the b. And then we simply repeat this pattern. So notice that every time uh, to calculate a component we use the other components. So we never, uh, so for the, the y value you for example, we never use the y value in its calculation. We only use the x and the z. The same as everything. Now I won't go into detail on this. It's yeah, it's mad. Um, and then simply return the new vector, and it's that simple. Okay. 
Um, now let's get it to back to our uh, to our player input system.cpp and now let's implement our different movements. So first, if glf get key in our window is glf uh, key and a this is the right movement then we want to do the following first we have to calculate our cross product and um, well simply do current player set position and then so we need to calculate the cross product of the uh, of our uh, up vector and of our i vector so we are moving uh, left so we have to subtract so subtract vector 3 then current player uh, get position and then so our cross product is uh, actually now let's first do this first scalar multiply then do cross product because we still want to uh, to modify our speed um, then the first argument should be i vector and then current player well it's going to be a, a zero one zero anyway so actually do make vector zero dot zero f one for the y and zero zero uh, i'll explain why we use uh, this well why we aren't using uh, using the using the uh, the uh, the i the up vector of the uh, current player? Well, I'll explain that, that in the future. Anyway, so um, and then multiply with, with again uh, seven zero dot zero zero seven f, and that's it. Then simply copy and paste all of this. Um, this and then for our right movement simply do T and this time we want to add so change this to add and that's it now run this we can move forwards and backwards and now also left and right um, one small thing now um, actually go into go to render system not CVP and uh, change in glue perspective this from 75 to 65 I think that will be better yes that's better okay so that was it uh, a short a shorter video but yeah um, and yeah tomorrow we will implement our our uh, well the first of our mass movements so uh, i hope i see you then and bye